This is a tutorial for Dex Science Set 6.1. Hi, in this video, we are going to perform a simple experiment to show that oxygen supports burning. The compartment we are going to use for this activity is B6.2.1.4.2. Let's go ahead and perform the activity. In this compartment, we have some interesting materials that will help us perform this experiment. We have some Play-Doh, we have a tiny tube, we have some food color, and we have a small piece of candle. Using these materials, we are going to demonstrate that oxygen supports burning. So the first thing we are going to do is to take our tube. Let's gently take the tape off it so that it's nice and straight. To perform this activity, you're going to need an empty plastic bottle. Ideally, a 50 ml bottle should do just fine. You're going to use it upside down in this way. Now this portion is going to go down. We're going to put a candle there and as the candle uses up the oxygen in here, water is going to flow through the tube and come to fill where the oxygen was. And so we need to make a small hole so that we can put our tube through. We're going to get a ruler and then we're going to measure from the opening of the bottle to about 15 centimeters. 15 centimeters. And this is about the point where we are going to make our small hole. Now the way we do this is fairly simple. We get any sharp object like a pair of scissors and then we make a really small hole. Do not make it too big. As small as you can. The most important thing is that your tiny tube can fit into this hole like this. Once it can fit in like this, there might be a little bit of space around it, but don't worry. We have a Play-Doh for, for that. And so let's just place this through our hole. So we're going to get some of the Play-Doh. We're going to open that up. We might need to cut it. We're going to take just a little bit of Play-Doh. Because you might be using the same Play-Doh for the other part of the experiment, do not use all of the Play-Doh. Just use about a quarter of it for this part of the activity. So we're going to use this to help us to seal off any gaps that may be around our tiny tube. We're going to fill that. We're going to press it to make sure that the Play-Doh enters every gap and seals it. It's important that you press it so that the Play-Doh sticks. In case your Play-Doh is hard, you might want to add a bit of water to it to make it really soft so that it can really stick to the bottle and enter every part that may be open around your tiny tube. It needs to be very airtight for the activity to work very well. So once you have that ready, you can place this on the side. The next thing we're going to do is to take the remainder of our Play-Doh. Let's squeeze that out. 
and we're going to roll it into a shape like this and we are going to place it around our candle now again it's important that you let it form a complete circle around your candle it's very very important so that there's no air gap around it so in order to do this experiment we're going to light up a candle and then we are going to place our bottle into the play-doh like this we're going to press it so that it enters the play-doh to completely seal it off and then we're going to put this part of the tube into some water so let's get some water so that we can complete our experiment so here's some water now in order for us to be able to easily visualize this experiment you're going to color the water we're going to get our food color You're going to pour a little bit of the food color into your water. It's going to diffuse nicely. Let's stir it with a pencil here. So this is just to enable us visualize the water as it rises to fill a space that was previously filled by the oxygen. So let's just quickly see how we're going to set up the experiment before we light our candle up. So this part of the tube is going to go into the water. We place it such that it can go into the water. But the tip of the tube should not touch the base of the water. So make sure you place it at the right distance such that it will be nicely placed in the water. And then you can also place your bottle gently onto the play-doh so now we are going to get a match please make sure that there's an adult here to do this part for you you're going to light up our candle and once the flame is nice and burning like this we we'll first make sure the tube is in the water and then we are going to gently place our bottle on the play-doh. Now as the candle goes off, you will see the water begin to rise through the tube and filling the portion of the bottle where the oxygen used to be. This is about 21% of the volume of the bottle. So this experiment helps us demonstrate that indeed oxygen does support burning and that that oxygen has been consumed creating a space that this water is rising to fill really really interesting activity this is a very beautiful activity showing that oxygen has been used up and that water has risen through the tube to fill the space that the oxygen used to be this is a beautiful activity that was performed using materials from the deck science set 6.1. See you in the next video.